Mm -hmm. We have the advantage because we're closer to their age, right? Mm -hmm. So we just have to find a way to incorporate it. These girls are members of the Esteem Team, a group of youth who visit schools throughout the Okanagan, sharing a message of positive self-esteem and anti-bullying. Yeah. The presentation is like targeted towards grade six. So I mean, these mm -hmm. kids are just at the brink of like puberty and like yeah. they're about to go through all that. And I think that this presentation is really important for that age group. Yeah. The girls are reviewing their presentation, which shows how often the media can distort reality and make people look picture perfect. Because everybody sees the media as like a big, a big thing to look up to and like all the supermodels and stuff. But really just getting people to realize that what you see isn't real and you should be looking at real people and look at yourself and understand that you are you and you are beautiful and just be confident with yourself. When she was in middle school, Nicole Tchaikovsky was teased about her weight and retells her story to other students as part of the program. My stomach dropped and I'm just like confidence boost down, like it was horrible. So I. I went to the bathroom and I cried and it was just the worst day ever. So now that, and now that I've told that story to everybody, um, it feels better knowing that people can connect to my story and kind of take my experience into their own hands and become stronger from that. Yeah. And I think we should talk about um, like feeling like you're too fat and too skinny for boys as well because I know that there's a Guys lot of get anorexia as well, and like mm -hmm. a lot of people don't think about that. Talking about eating and talking about food is so much a part of female culture, mm -hmm. but it's not really accepted for guys to talk about food with each other, yeah. <laughs> right? So yeah, if people have issues with food, they don't tend to be addressed. Julia Cannings is this year's esteem team leader, and knowing the heckling she got years ago says the middle school environment is rough. I know high school can be pretty hard too, but in my experience, middle school was when kids were the meanest, people felt the worst about themselves um, because you haven't quite reached that age of, you know, kind of close to adulthood where people start to treat you like you have real problems. And so middle school is just this scary, scary place. The main goal is to inspire other students through their presentation, but the dozen esteemed team members also grow as individuals. Definitely presenting in front of other students that were my age or older helped me gain confidence in public speaking. Like the feeling that I get when we read those like feedback forms that we give to the kids. The STEAM team helped me a lot with when I was getting bullied about having short hair and people were calling me a lesbian and such. So they helped me a lot with telling me that it would be a good idea to go talk to the school counselor and teachers about it and they really helped me with that because that was a really tough time that I was going through. I know a lot of people, including myself, but not really anymore, um, have been like struggling with their and struggle with their size, and I kind of have like they help me have an epiphany that nobody tells you what your shoe size should be, so why should they tell you what your dress size should be?